we will going to discuss about the asset accounting complete uh, configurations and all. And uh, when it comes to the SAP EFICO ECC versions and all, we do have uh, some modifications in SAP ECC. I mean asset accounting and all. But when it comes to the SAP S4 HANA, you do have uh, ledges, okay, leading ledges and non-leading ledges and all. First of all, when we are dealing with the SAP S4 HANA, there may be, uh, I mean, some major changes are available in the SAP S4 HANA, okay, comparing with the ECC and all. And uh, for FI to MM integration, you have seen uh, the most important thing that is material lecture uh, concepts. OK, and FI to SD, you do have material lecture. And based on the SAP FI to MM integration flow, I mean purchase information flow only. So you will going to sell the uh, material to the particular customer. When you sell this material to the particular customer, what you would expect okay either it is a asset or either it is a material or either it is a asset under construction with the materials and all so you will going to expect like this okay then next for each and every material we can call it as a asset we can call it as a plant and machinery we can call it as a raw materials and all for every material you do have some configurations what are those configurations? Either it is a main asset or either it is a sub asset or either it is an asset under construction. Shall we calculate depreciation on the asset under construction? No, right? Shall we calculate the depreciation on normal asset with a sub asset? Yes, we can calculate. With the help of all these assets and all, how we can change the information from one system to the another system? How we can add all these values from one system to the another system that we can discuss in the data migration projects and all. I mean, data migration projects will be there based on the, I mean, data migration projects and all. So we do have uh, some uh, projects and uh, you can able to transfer the data from one server to the another server. See, uh, to migrate the data and all, some of the aspects are very, very important. What are those aspects? Either uh, it is a S4 HANA or either it is a ECC and all, we can able to transfer the data from non-SAP to the SAP, from SAP to the SAP system. In that scenario, what are the more, I mean, most important topics that we cover uh, in SAP real time and uh, that we cover in training sessions and all is so through LSNW through LTMC. So we do transfer the data from SAP non SAP to SAP system from SAP to SAP. So we do have some validation concepts and substitution concepts. See validation and substitution for concept of the um, particular. Uh, I mean uh, points of the concept is different, but the way you are migrating the data from SAP to SAP is very, very important. I mean, we can able to uh, transfer the data um, with the help of some tools from SAP to system to the SAP. That is SAP ECC to the SAP S4 HANA. OK, so in that scenario, uh, some of the technical consultants will be involved. Some of the financial consultants will be involved. Some of the CEO consultant, MM consultant, SD consultant, consultants will be involved with the help of uh, uh, I mean migration projects and all. OK, so here what I want to say is when you are migrating the data from uh, SAP system to the SAP systems only, you have to have clear knowledge on the uh, leading ledgers concept, non leading ledgers concepts, uh, local currency concept and group currency concept and uh, material ledger concept and non material ledger concept and the purchase information flow material ledger concept and the sales information flow material ledger concept with the help of condition types and all okay so without uh, transferring all this data you cannot even post one invoice as per the end user activities and all 
Okay, so I mean, when you want to do testing in the SAP S4 HANA, you need to have proper knowledge for the asset accountings also. Okay, and you need to have proper knowledge on it. See why we are uh, telling this is a new asset accounting and all comparing with the ECC and all. See, in ECC, uh, we didn't do any ledger configurations, but when it comes to the SAP S4 HANA, we have to assign ledger concept. Why? Because whatever the currencies that you have defined in the company code and all, so that should be transferred to the material ledgers concept. I mean, uh, that should be transferred to the ledger concept only. Okay, see the way you're explaining uh, the answer to the particular interviewer and all, automatically based on your knowledge only they will estimate your profile okay whether uh, he or she is capable for this position or not okay so they will going to do some some things but what i want to say here is you have to have clear cut knowledge on the sap s4 hana configurations sap ecc configurations then only you can able to answer each and every question um, about the differences of SAP, FICO, ECC and S4 HANA. That is the most important thing. Now we can move to the SAP um, new asset accounting in SAP S4 HANA. OK, so this asset accounting component is used for managing and supervising fixed assets and supervising uh, sub assets and supervising asset under construction within the SAP system. In financial accounting, it serves as subsidiary ledger to the general ledger. OK, but when it comes to the ECC, it serves as a subsidiary ledger to the general ledger. But when it comes to the SAP S4 HANA, so I mean, um, uh, it serves as a subsidiary ledger to the general ledger with the help of leading ledgers. OK, that is the most important thing and providing detailed information on transactions involving in fixed assets. It manages company fixed assets right from acquisition to the retirement. Acquisition to the retirement means what? Either it is a sub asset, either it is a main asset, either it is a asset under constructions and all with the help of all these things. I mean, with the help of leading ledgers and all we can able to do some acquisitions when we can able to do some retirements all accounting transactions that are relating to depreciations, insurance, etc. of assets and all these are taken care of through this module. What is the module? Asset accounting module. OK, see and all the accounting information from this module flows to FI to GL on a real time basis. OK, so FI to GL, what is the real time basis and all? Can you go up? See here, general ledger is accounts payables and accounts receivables and asset accounting. See, these are the sub modules of the general ledgers. OK, all of you. So what is the structuring of the assets that we have in SAP S4 HANA? See, building or plant, that is we can call it as a main asset and flat is a sub asset. See, I will give you the best example here. When you want to buy the some buildings or when you want to buy the some machinery and from any vendors and on, see vendors will supply the sub assets. That means bus will be there. That is the machinery. OK, so I mean one Volvo bus is there. See without engine. So can you drive this Volvo bus? No, right? So engine is the sub asset. OK, so if you have sub asset, then only you can able to run the main asset. OK, see some of the assets will be in a fixed motor. What are those fixed assets here? Either it is a building, either it is a plant, either it is a uh, some uh, lines and all. See. We cannot calculate the depreciation on the land. Why? Because so I mean whatever the land uh, that you have acquired. OK, so that should be a main current asset for you. OK, that value will be increased and that value will not be decreased. OK, that value will be increased. So that is my uh, we can't even. I mean calculate the depreciation on the main asset sub assets of the lands and all. OK. So that is the most important thing right now. Then I mean under this 
under the main asset we are going to create the sub asset you know it very well okay so and main asset is to be created with asset class we do have asset classes right what are those asset classes so either it is related to the machinery either it is related to the buildings either it is related to some other things okay so that is the main asset, main thing see whatever the account determination that is specified in the asset class so that should be assigned i mean those uh, gl accounts should be assigned to the particular main assets sorry uh, in account determinations particular account determinations see then we will going to calculate depreciation for the main asset also sub asset see we do have uh, the structure of the asset but when it comes to the structure of uh, asset under construction how we are doing see uh, till uh, until it becomes the main asset we cannot even calculate the depreciation on the asset under construction you know it very well okay in ecc we have seen all these things in a very well manner okay but the structuring of the asset under construction in sap s for hana okay we do have some important things right what are those important things construction of building in sap s for hana is very very important and for construction of the building we don't calculate the depreciation and scenario of asset under construction is very very important till asset under construction calculation of the depreciation is not at all possible i mean until it becomes a one main asset uh, the depreciation is uh, calculation is not at all possible okay see once the asset under construction is changed to fixed asset the depreciation is to be calculated right okay whatever the depreciation that we have and those depreciations are uh, are to be calculated first of all on the main asset we know it very well but how uh, we can able to do all these things based on the leading ledgers only right okay now we will observe some of the things with the leading ledgers and all can you go to the transaction code f i n s c underscore ledger f i n s c underscore ledger see for every configuration you have to go to the um i mean this transaction for f i n s c underscore ledger okay why because see we are using demo service okay see we can able to create our own ledgers leading ledgers non leading ledgers i mean group currencies local currencies we can able to create all these things but we will follow the standard things when you follow the standard things and all automatically what will happen okay based on your company code based on your company code currencies and all system can able to perform at a uh, uh, i mean higher level okay so that is the most important thing but see whether this ledger has been assigned to the our company code or not is very very important okay whatever the configurations that you are doing in ecc and sap s for hana mainly in sap s for hana you have to check like this okay so without checking all this information it is not at all possible to uh, post the main asset sub asset depreciation values and all so please try to remember the points and uh, we are going to check with uh, all these things please try to have some more focus on the uh, material ledgers and uh, leading ledgers and non leading ledgers like this Okay, it is taking uh, too much of time. No issue. Okay, can you go to the continue option, uh, Paul? See, 
if you don't have any errors while you are executing the in fins nsc underscore ledges and on okay all of you and uh, please try to have more uh, things okay why because it is a leading ledger we can call it as a standard ledges and all we can extend the general ledges and underlying ledgers also okay see if it is uh, not assigned to the particular things i mean if it is not assigned to your i mean uh, customizing leading ledgers and all whether you will going to get a leading ledger type errors and you will going to get extension ledger type errors and underlying ledgers errors and all Okay, so you will going to get maximum number of these things. But when it comes to the leading ledgers and all, okay, whatever the standard ledgers that you are maintaining, that should be assigned to our company code. Okay, now we will going to check whether all these things are assigned to the uh, our company code or not. Uh, can you take out the oil? Uh, can you take out the oil and go to the global uh, currency? Sorry, currency conversation settings. Uh, currency conversation settings and we can uh, able to see our currencies and all. I mean, if it is a company code currency, there is no issue. If it is not a current, I mean, company code currencies and all, we will going to change it. Huh, there is no any errors, all of you. And so that is why let's see here. Errors will be zero. And warning messages will be 1209. See, I mean, uh, this is not our errors. Enter a valid uh, source uh, currency type for currency type and enter a valid currency types for company code, translation, data exchange rate type, foreign currency revaluation. When you maintain foreign currency revaluation, see, that is why I am saying that if you want to do some customizing ledgers creations and all, you can do it. But if you want to do, I mean, if you want to do all these transactions with the main asset, sorry, with the main leading ledgers and all, I mean, like standard ledgers and all, you can also maintain. But when you are maintaining all these things and all, you have to check whether the errors uh, are there for the leading ledgers or not. Okay, all of you. So we don't have any errors. Okay, we have just warning messages. And those warning messages are not our errors. Why? Because this is the demo server, right? So some of the persons will use the leading ledgers and all. Okay, right. Can you go to the continue option? Go to the continue option. We can able to see the things, all of you. Okay, can you go to the position? Can you go to the position? If it is our company code currencies like uh, 10 and all, automatically we will going to see it. Okay, and um, S4 HANA is a little bit slow. Please try to have some patience so that we can able to assign our company code. I mean, sorry, we can able to assign our company code currency. OK, if we don't have currency for our company code and all. Uh, go to the continue option. Company code currency and USD currencies and global currency settings. And uh, where is our company code uh, phone? Can you come down? Down? Oh, okay. It is still uh, running right. See, no worries. Why? Because we don't have any errors. I mean, company code currency has been assigned to our company code only. So that is why we have seen no errors. OK, if we have any errors, automatically system will going to show you in the uh, ledgers concepts. OK.
it is taking too much of time no worries so after this thing we will going to continue the uh, this asset and i mean um, asset complete configurations and all in a sap s for hana <sighs> Okay, you do one thing, Bowen. Can you give ration or else take out the new things? Like that? Go to the create new session. Okay, right. So, I mean, till now, whatever the discussions that we have. So I'm stopping uh, this recording and all. Why? Because it is just a theory part and all. And it is getting or not? It is getting. All right. Okay, no issue. 